welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. But on this day in Tudor history, the 15th of August 1588, Catholics Robert Wilcox, Edward Campion, Christopher Buxton and Robert Widmerpool were examined while imprisoned in the Marshalsea Prison in Southwark in London. Campion, Wilcox and Buxton were found guilty of being Roman Catholic priests after all three of them confessed to being priests and Widmerpool or Widmerpole was charged with giving aid to a priest. They were executed by being hanged, drawn and quartered at Oaten Hill in Canterbury on the 1st of October 1588. Buxton was allegedly offered his life if he recanted his Catholic faith but he refused, saying, I would not purchase a corruptible life at such a rate, and if I had 100 lives, I would willingly lay them all down in defence of my faith. Now let me tell you a bit more about these men, who became known as the Oaten Hill Martyrs. Robert Wilcox was from Chester in the northwest of England and was born in 1558. He studied at the English College, a seminary college in Reims in France, where he was ordained as a priest in 1585. He was sent on a mission to convert English subjects to the old faith, that is Catholicism, in June 1586, but was arrested soon after his arrival. Accounts of their execution state that Wilcox was the first to climb the ladder to be hanged and that he did so with great cheerfulness and that when he was up there, he turned to his companions with a smiling countenance and bid them be of good heart, telling them that he was going to heaven before them, where he should carry the tidings of their coming after him. Edward Campion, also known as Father Gerard Edwards, was born in Ludlow, Shropshire, and was educated at Jesus College, Oxford, before working in the household of Gregory Fines, 8th Baron Dacre, whose wife, Anne Sackville, was a staunch Catholic. He left England in February 1586 to study at the English College at Reims and changed his name to Edward Campion in honour of the Jesuit martyr Edmund Campion, who'd been executed in 1581. He was ordained as a priest in 1587 and returned to England on a mission at Easter 1587. He was arrested in Sittingbourne, Kent and imprisoned first at Newgate and then the Marshalsea. Christopher Buxton was born in 1562 in Derbyshire and was educated at Tidewell Grammar School under Nicholas Garlick, who went on to be martyred on the 24th of July 1588. Buxton then went to Reims to the English College there and then on to Rome, where he was ordained in October 1586. He returned to England in September 1586, landing in Kent and was arrested in that November and imprisoned in the Marshall Sea. Robert Widmerpool was born in 1560 in Nottinghamshire and studied at Gloucester Hall, Oxford. It is said that he worked as a tutor to the sons of the Countess of Northumberland, a woman who'd been implicated in the 1569 Northern Rebellion against Queen Elizabeth I. Widmerpool was arrested for giving hospitality to Catholic priests and for having introduced a priest into the home of the Countess. At his execution, he is recorded as kissing the ladder and the rope and giving God most hearty thanks for bringing him to so great a glory as that of dying for his faith and truth in the same place where the glorious martyr, St. Thomas of Canterbury, had shed his blood for the honour of his divine majesty. All four men were beatified in 1929 by Pope Pius XI. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 15th of August 1603, Lady Mary Scudamore, née Shelton, a member of Queen Elizabeth I's Privy Chamber and one of her favourite sleeping companions, was buried at Holmlacey in Herefordshire. Mary was very close to the Queen, but suffered the Queen's wrath at one point. I explain all in last year's video, and you can find a link to that in the description. Thank you for joining me today. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking that button right there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can leave me a comment and give me a like. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye.